may try to define you. But you are the ingredient to your own success. Eggy, eggy. Like greatness. And so I want to go ahead and talk about the Tennessee Titans, in which Will Levis was named the starting quarterback at the beginning of the season, in which it raised a lot of questions as to why their already so-called black quarterback Malik Willis wasn't given a real opportunity. When in any time in life Will Levis has been that dude? You talking about the same quarterback who couldn't who couldn't get the starting job at Penn State, goes to Kentucky and leads the SEC in interceptions, leads the, leads the SEC in pick sixes. Two years in a row? And I didn't know too much going into the season about Will Levis. The only thing I knew about Will Levis was that he had these ridiculous commercials. Smell like greatness. They try to define you. But you are the ingredient to your own success. Eggy, eggy. Smell like greatness and so as bad as those commercials were and they were bad and i would probably stack that commercial up against the jerry rice commercial from back in the day mm. at the same time so we made the taste mask 360 degrees of pure wing rotation for hands-free wing eating huh? looking for easy and so the will levis commercials are on that level of buffoonery but as bad as they were the only thing worse than that was his actual play on the field Ravens defense, both defensive coordinators coming from that. John Harbaugh, Dolphins winning like they have it. It's a rough start the first couple of weeks for Levis as he goes to the air. It's intercepted. Gi and in the words of Skip Bayless, I've never seen anything quite like it. I mean, not only is it bad, it's historically bad. You're talking about a quarterback that's going out every week and found a way to cost their team the game. Here they come, Gordon's coming, Levis gets wrapped oh, up, no. flakes it ahead, it's picked off, Tyreek Stevenson will give the Bears the lead. Looking, Levis tripped, he tried to shovel it, that ball is free, and the Jets have it. We can't, we wasted a whole f***ing offseason with Will Levis? The season's over he can't play y'all we are 0 and 3 y'all put all y'all faith in this boy for this we we got rid of Malik Willis to go 0 and 3 and so that's exactly what they did and what happened next is something that you only see in the Disney movies Malik Willis got traded from the Tennessee Titans for a seventh round pick to the Green Bay Packers and then a week into him being there, their starting quarterback Jordan Love gets injured and insert Malik Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Had, uh, what's his name? Malik. Malik, Malik pulled up. And balled and out. And out. balled and, out. And, and, and straight belt to ass. <laughs> yeah, Malik they said, you know what? Out. We don't need you. And he said, I'm going to show y'all. Green, Willis looking that direction down the sideline. Floats it up and a From the five, Willis keeps on the zone read. Bouncing towards the goal line. Willis in some trouble. Eludes the rush. Now he'll tuck it and run for the first down and more. Bring an extra heat. Willis gonna run again Willis stumbling forward he'll pull it and keep it and Willis on the run down the sideline got it. today Willis to the air zips it in Christian Watson hurtling high at the 15 and so Malik Willis definitely did his thing in his game versus Tennessee versus his old team and showed what he's capable of if given an opportunity he threw for over 200 yards, one pass in TD, ran for 73 yards and one touchdown. And the stats in that game don't tell the whole story. Because truth be told, they called off the dogs in the third quarter. And the coach just ran the ball. And if I were him, I would have done the same thing. Why even take a chance when you got a quarterback like Will Levis on the other side that's not going to win the game? And he's only going to give us the ball back. And so Malik Willis' stats would have been even better. But something that really stood out to me was how Malik Willis handled himself after the game after beating his former team that traded him for a seventh round pick. Chance to sit and develop and, and be a different player than you were. Do you feel like this is the game you would have brought into the season no matter 
who you were with, or who you were with, or is there something about this team, this office, this situation that has really just fit well for you? I'm not sure I could say that. Uh, I just don't have the external viewpoint of my life to say that. I just try to, you know, continue to just work. And like you say, three starts, that's, you know, what I was judged off and that's what it is. And you don't really have a say so in that. And it's a results based league. So it's a business. So I can't really, you know, be mad at that. I got my opportunity, whether it was, you know, one of the better opportunities or not, it was an opportunity. And uh, I'm grateful for that. And I learned from it and try to continue to work hard until my next one comes. And so this is the kind of quarterback that you can win with. This is the kind of quarterback that the guys in the locker room will run through a wall for. Uh, you know, getting to play football more than anything. That's not really. I just try to go out there and have fun. You only get to do this for so long. You know, you try to take advantage of it. It's a blessing. And a lot of the fan base and the media who wanted Malik Willis gone and Will Levis to be the starter, well, now they're singing a different tune. Malik Willis, I have said Malik Willis is not an NFL player. I have said Malik Willis should go to the XFL. I've said a lot of things about Malik Willis, and I've hated on Malik Willis quite a bit. Malik Willis, I am sorry. I'm sorry, Malik Willis. I apologize. I was wrong about you. I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. The real reason as to why I think or why I believe the Tennessee Titans organization chose to go with Will Levis over Malik Willis is because the Tennessee Titans have a new $2.1 billion stadium coming in the near future. It's already under construction. And this $2.1 billion stadium, they gotta fill it. They gotta fill those seats. And if we're being honest, it damn sure wasn't gonna be Malik Willis, no matter how good he was. Because in the one year that Malik Willis got to play in Tennessee and the couple of games, handful of games that he played, he actually showed some promise. and showed that he had a lot of talent, a lot of raw talent that could easily have been developed with the right coach and the right system. But they didn't give it a chance. And if I had to guess, Will Levis being the right, quote unquote, the right type of quarterback for Tennessee, that had a lot to do with it. But fortunately for Malik Willis, it looks like it worked out to his advantage. Because if the Tennessee Titans had kept him, he wasn't going to play. He would have been riding the bench as a third string quarterback and who knows, could have been out of the league in a year or two. But it looks like he's going to get another opportunity. It looks like he's definitely going to get another opportunity, maybe with the Packers or perhaps with another team. Miami Dolphins, if they're smart, if Tua can't give it a go, that would be a great destination for him. And we'll see. But either way, I think it's going to work out for Malik Willis. And he's going to be just fine. But you all go ahead and let me know what y'all think below. Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section if you haven't done so already. And as usual, peace and chaos.